Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide, and I am here with Carlos Miranda, one of the stars of Stars is Vida. How are you doing? Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm good. I How am. Are you? I'm great because <laughs> I'm really excited about this interview. Um, I've been a big fan of the show, a big fan of yours. So let's start with how you landed the role initially. Ah uh, man, that's quite a little story, but um, basically I, I self taped. I was uh, I was out of town. I was working actually in Chicago, and um, and I received the, the email for the self tape, and I kind of put it off for a second because I was like sightseeing and stuff yeah. like that, and uh, and I ended up doing this tape. And when I got back, they uh, they called me in, and it was this this kind of crazy week of come. Oh, they wanted to bring you back again. Then I met Tanya and. Uh, and then I had to go on Friday and test it with all these executives and everything. And it was just like this whole thing, you know, it was uh, very surreal. And, yeah. and it was a blessing, you know. I woke up the next morning uh, to a message from Tanya. Well, did you have any idea it was going to be as big of a show as it become, has become and have as big of an impact culturally, all of that? I, uh, no, no, not how it, uh, how it is, but I, you know, like I went into it definitely with the idea, with this this you know like idea of like wow this is a uh, pretty groundbreaking you know this is you know pushing pushing barriers here and uh and it's cool this you know this would be nice to, you know it's cool to see see up see on you know on screen you know what i mean you don't see this often but um yeah the way it's been received and everything has been very uh like well like you know this is even with you you know it's like oh, yeah. oh i'm a fan of the show and it's just kind of like oh cool you know but it's, I, I it's I love it I appreciate it um and it's kind of you know and I feel it's you know you're proud you're proud of it and uh, you know you, I don't know you try to carry it kind of like absolutely and one of the things I really love about the show is that all of the characters are extremely flawed yes. yet we really care as we all are, right? exactly as we all are you know there's certain shows where I watch sometimes and I'm like they're all such big jerks I really can't root for anybody yeah. but with this show we see you guys make some massive massive mistakes especially Johnny who you know yeah. leaves his the woman pregnant with his child cheats on her with his height you know his high school sweetheart how is it that you portray the role with so much heart while also actually doing a pretty terrible thing to someone that loves you well thank you I appreciate that um well I mean it's just they're just he's just a human being you know what I mean like um like you said there's nobody that you're kind of like rooting for or, or you really actually hate you know it's kind of everyone has their own um qualities that you appreciate about them and uh and they have their things that they're you know skeletons in their closets right and uh same thing with Johnny you know he's um Ultimately, he's a good dude. He's not a malicious person out to like hurt Eric, uh, Carlos, Carlos' feelings or anything like that. You know, I mean, Erica Soto is uh, yeah. the actress who plays uh, Carla. And um, but these feelings that uh, that he has with Lynn is just this chemistry, this uh, this this energy. You know, that's um, it's undeniable. You know what I mean? And is that really a first love, the one that got away kind of thing? Is he kind of trying to prove that he can have her? Yeah, I think um, he he loves her. I think he's in love also. This is just my also opinion, thinking like uh, he's in love with the idea of her. I think the idea of being with her um, because she was like, yeah, his kind of first real everything. Um, so you imagine this life of like, oh, you know, if it could be with anybody, it, it, I want it to be with this person. And then this person's around now. And you forget everything that uh, that she broke your heart, you know, done did to break your heart, and um, and you kind of just remember the good things, and you fall like you just completely fall right back in love, and uh, and everything else is you forget about everything, you know, but leads to some consequences. Ultimately. Absolutely, I have to ask. There yeah. were some very steamy scenes. Did yeah. you know you and <laughs> Melissa, the actress that plays Lynn? Yes. How did you prepare for that, uh, making sure you guys were comfortable with each other to just kind of go in and do it? Um, well, for, shout out to Melissa Burr. She's, she's a really amazing. Um, and she's been, uh, she's been my, my, you know, my co-pilot through this whole journey, um, or I've been hers, you know. Uh, yeah, they're, um, it was my first time doing anything like that, so it was very... Uh, were you nervous? Yeah, yeah. totally. Totally, I was... Uh, she knows quite vulnerable, you know. You're the kinda, gym a lot before. I um, I de yeah, yeah, I definitely, I, you know, I got a, went a little extra hard for when uh, when I knew that was it, because you see it in the audition, the material, like yeah. oh, there's nudity, and um, and you kind of just like, I guess I'll I'll cross this bridge when I get there, right? Yeah. Like whatever, 
And, uh, you know, you get, you get this idea of like, oh, I hope I, I land a part, I land a part, and then you like, I got to get yeah. naked. Um, so, yeah, and it was the first thing we shot. So it's kind of wow. like we were thrown right into the lion's den, uh, you know, and it was just, but it was great. She was, you know, it was kind of her first time, like, doing yeah. that kind of, she's done stuff, but not, like, full, you know? Yeah. And um, so it was kind of her first time, so it, it helped, you know, it helped me kind of, we were kind of, like, leaning on each other towards the whole thing, and I appreciate her for it very much. And my last question is, of course, season two is coming out on May 23rd yeah, yeah. on Stars. One of the reasons I wanted you with Lynn so badly, I knew you were toxic, but I just didn't want you to not be in the storyline anymore. So now that it looks like you probably will not be together, are we still going to be seeing a lot of your character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm around, um, I mean, I'm still, uh, Johnny's still in the neighborhood, you know? And so is Lynn, so they're definitely bound to run into each other once or twice. I so. want more than that. Yeah, well, you know, tune in and you'll see. Okay. It'll be uh, all completely all, the whole second season will be available on the Stars app. And it'll be weekly, Sunday, Sunday, uh, the following Sunday from the 26th. And will there on. be more episodes than last season or the same? It'll be more. It'll be 10 episodes this season. So. Nice. So you could uh, catch up on the first six and enjoy the the rest well i highly suggest that you guys binge the first six episode of vita on stars before the second season comes out on may 23rd thank you so much thank you very much for having me I really all right it. we'll see you next time guys